you didn't know the Kings are over 500? You better call somebody because last night's win in Miami moved Sacramento to four and three on the year with every win coming against a 2018 playoff team. They're fast. They're fun. True or false? The Kings are back. True. We're talking about them. Kings are back on the starters. That's mm-hmm. solid. That's a good start. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're four and three. It's the first time they've been over 500, you know, this far into a season since like 2014. This is good. They're playing fast, super, super fast, uh, which important. is good. They got young guys and Fox leading that team. Willie Cauley Stein in a contract here. The elites are stretching the floor a little bit. Buddy Heald and they're they're entertaining, which is to me means they're back because at least you'll be tuning in to watch them on League Pass because that's a big win in Miami last night for them. Yeah, the last time we talked about them was basically draft time when uh, you look back at their season and Zach Randolph had led their team in scoring at 14 points per game. That's not a good sign. And they were dead last in pace last yeah. season. They have completely flipped it around. Yeah, now they're up to second. Yeah. I remember previewing them this year and, and we talked about how many guys are going to break out? How many are the young guys are going to break out? Mm-hmm. And I made the very cool joke of saying maybe an adult – Pimple breakout where you get one pimple, but not a teenage acne thing. Where everything like, where it spreads. Yeah, let, let's not jump to conclusions here that all of a sudden that all these first round picks are going to work out. That that would be a little extreme, but I think we've seen two guys sort of reach close to their potential. De'Aaron Fox, as we saw, and Willie yeah. Colley signs. And Dave Yeager has said De'Aaron Fox is the future of this franchise, and he's tried to open up the floor so that he can exploit his pace and get inside and score those layups. He, if he can become a better three-point shooter, then it really opens things up for him. But good thing about the Kings, they're spreading around. Six players average double figures mm-hmm. right now. So they don't have that one standout guy they're relying on every night, getting contributions from everybody. And someone like Iman Shumpert, who's a veteran, who's been around giving them some good help as well. So things are looking good. Their defense is holding up, but... Uh, uh, you know, it's going to test them as well. Now the teams are going to be a bit more expecting. Will we be talking about the Kings when we get into fast. November? Yeah. That is the real question. Yeah. All right.